Hello, welcome to the spoiler free review of Shutter Island. Now I've been a, a fan of Martin Scorsese pretty much since the first thing I watched by him which I believe was Taxi Driver. So I've seen uh, Taxi Driver, Casino, Goodfellas, Gangs of New York, and his Cape Fear remake. Now all but the last of them I've completely fucking loved. And now the last one, I'm not going to get into it in this video, but let's face it, it was a bad idea from the get-go. That movie did not need a remake. All the talent involved in the production of the remake notwithstanding, it was just a bad idea. Anyway, I know him as a perfectionist director who has a great sense of visuals and drama and that's exactly what he brings to this movie. I haven't read the book so I don't know how this compares but this is a very exciting, thrilling and utterly creepy disturbing movie and it does indeed look stunning. Briefly about the plot, DiCaprio plays a marshal who go comes to an island and he's supposed to investigate what happened to one of the patients who has disappeared. That's all I'm gonna... The acting is fantastic. DiCaprio, Ruffalo, Williams, all of them are just unbelievable. Kingsley, you've got Lynch, you know, the guy from Dr the Drew Carey show, and uh, he was also in Face Off. He does his usual thing of, you know, that creepy guy that you, you know, got the feeling that there's something shifty about him, but you can't quite... Ted Levine, he delivers this fantastic speech. This is also largely psych psychologically accurate and credible, and it definitely isn't as mainstream and as, as simplistic as the trailers almost make it seem. It is still very much Scorsese. You know, the way he treats it, it's not just pure Hollywood. Yeah, the lighting is unbelievable. The effects are also really, really good, but they're really not the focus. They're just, they're a tool to tell the story. The story is the definite focus here. The film's got this grand orchestral score, and it is just perfectly fitting. I mean, there's one, maybe two places where it gets a little bit out of hand. It tries to you know, make the moment more dramatic than it is, but apart from that, it's a perfect fit throughout the entire movie, and it really enhances the mood. But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, a great thriller that really messes with your head, you know, you're not sure what's real, what isn't. And I definitely recommend it to anyone who likes Scorsese, and anyone who likes, you know, creepy, exciting thrillers. Okay, so this is where I'm going to get into the spoilers. Other people have already compared this to the likes of Mulholland Drive and Memento, and i got to agree with that. And honestly, I'd also add the Silent Hill, the games. I haven't watched the movie yet. I'm holding off on that until I've uh, played the fourth game, but I already don't exactly have my expectations high for the movie. I loved all the like philosophy and stuff. The fact that it wasn't just your average run-of-the-mill where, you know, someone has MPD. You know, I mean, I would say even if you did figure out some of the twist or even all of it, I would still say the film had something to offer. You know, the God loves violence speech and, and DiCaprio's last line there with this place got me thinking, what's worse, to live as a monster or to die a good man. You know, that was fantastic. I personally didn't figure out everything at least. I, you know, as the movie went on, I couldn't help but just think of, I don't know how many different theories about the whole, but I had not put together that the kid was actually his, that the Rachel Solando thing, that the Rachel, Rachel Solando thing was actually his wife. 
one thing I did think the the thing about the the anagrams of the names he his partner was apparently called Chuck or he thought so or something that got me thinking that uh, that's you know that's like short for Charles and his real name I think his last name was like the Shane or something I I couldn't help but wonder if I think it actually does work out that his name is also an anagram like the the agent the the agent partner's name you know is an anagram of the of the real guy's name the doctor's name I also thought it did a fantastic job of keeping you guessing because up until the very last moment you kind of did expect him to find you know bizarre experiments in there in the tower you know the movie had you convinced that is talented fucking directing right there I could name the other movies that also you know convince you in that way but I really don't want to give anything away about those other movies I also really loved how the, you know the the police force on this island did kind of have a Nazi look to them you know and the warden especially it was really cool to see uh, the Jackie Earl Haley again in something you know he was fucking fantastic as Rorschach and he nailed his part in the George Noyce I think just fucking fantastic I would say all the scares in this movie paid off and you know it's not like it's not really a horror film it's not about the scares but I don't know I've watched a lot of um, the horror movies recently where the scares don't really pay off and here they really did you know there wasn't a scare that was just you know a cat jumping out of you know if you got scared if you jumped it was because someone jumped out at uh, at Andrew and you know started choking him or something you know I also thought it was completely perfect how apart from the flashbacks you do not see the outside world for the duration of the film it starts on the ferry and then you know they get to the island and that's it there's just there's no you don't get to see the outside world and that was just perfect it was you know it had to be within this microcosm within the confines of this island and that's another thing you know, where a typical Hollywood movie would probably have you know the execs would have gone okay we cannot have it only here we'll lose audience members we'll lose profits and it was just perfect that it did it because we need that sense of isolation I loved uh, DiCaprio's performance in this one thing is it just me uh, and maybe it's not really that maybe it's something I can't quite put words to yet or something but was the crying like I don't know how to put off something just a little odd the way he I don't know maybe I haven't watched enough movies where he cries or something I don't know I thought Michelle Williams was amazing in this I think at first for a while I couldn't quite put a name to the face I just kept thinking oh, you yeah, know she's cute couldn't quite remember you know I think it wasn't until I got home and looked it up on IMDb that I realized oh shit that really was her I think I actually knew I think I looked it up before 